All right, what did we learn from strip till this year? Um, it was our first year doing strip till. Um, transitioning from conventional till to no till, we noticed a lot of problems in our climate. Um, we're planting into soil that's just barely warm enough for seed safety. Um, and so on the no-till side, we had weather aspect. And then if the planter row unit would bump last year's stock a little bit or right up on the residue, uh, very sensitive to not getting that trash moved enough and it would make a devastating hit on our yield. You, you could see it from an airplane flying by <clears throat> on the road at 50 miles an hour, you could pick out the spots. Um, conventional tillage to strip till, I, I, I would see zero headaches other than figuring out your strip till implement. Um, we're on our fields where we were conventional till not too long ago, the strip till gave us just as good of a stand, uh, quick emergence, very vigorous early growth. Uh, the one thing, the huge advantage of the strip till is that the fertilizer is banded right underneath the plant. Uh, so we we're getting the same yields as, as before with a lot less input to it. Um, behind me, we had no till on this hill last year, corn on corn, and it did not do well. Going up the hill, there was a lot of spots that was 60 and 70 bushels to the acre. <clears throat> and a lot of it was just stand and emergence and young growth. Uh, we had a fantastic year last year. There, there's no excuse for any of that kind of stuff other than them are problems you face. This year in the same spot, corn on corn again, strip till. Uh, we're going over that hill, you know, 170, 190 bushel. It, it's fantastic. This From no till to strip till, you see a massive improvement in stand quality evenness and stuff like that that we've talked about before and the other cool thing is is i posted a video of the combine in the mud that field uh is two miles over here it's conventionally tilled soil it's a little blacker than what we have here but it's the same you got some hills you got some low spots it's the same as we have here that was a week ago and since then we've had an inch and a quarter of rain and four inches of snow and it's been right around that 32 34 degrees during the day so it's it's not freezing at all and here we are we're combining that field where I had that soybean video of being stuck with the combine that field you are not touching it till next spring and it is not going to be pretty um, and so the, the strip till on the soybean side of it what we learned on strip till was what we were kind of already seeing is that it does not matter what you do for soybeans. For soybeans, for us, uh, our best bang for the buck is still no-till plant them and just take care of them. As you see, if you see an issue where you need to get out there with a fungicide, put a fungicide. If you need weed, pre if you need weed control, do weed control. Um, we tried strip till with no fertility, high fertility, different types of fertilizer. Uh, corn, a corn fertilizer package with a lot of urea. Um, at the end of the day, the bushels gained did not justify the application of the fertilizer or anything like that. And so on soybeans, we're just going to keep moving forward with the no-till soybeans, but we will bring strip-till into the soybean program because that will get us that band or that layer of fertility down at that eight, nine inches where we're applying the fertilizer. So after a few years, you know, here's your 30 inch row spacing. Here we are this year, next year we're here, and the third year we're over here, but it ain't quite that perfect. And so after four years, we should already have a, a good layer going down there. Um, it, it, yeah, I overall it was a very easy system to jump the strip till. I like it. We're gonna keep moving forward with it, mix with um, the no till, and, and we might have a field that we still need to do some conventional till on to bust up hard pans or major fertility corrections or anything like that. But that's the summary, man. We uh, we absolutely loved the, the absolutely love that strip till. It's fast moving across the fields, um, and it it saves us a pile of money and made us a lot of money. And on three dollar corn, to say you made money is a tough tough thing to do this year. 
uh, but strip tool really helped us get there. So that's our summary.